Now that we have control of the castle, all we need to do now... Uh, actually, sir, this is a tree, not a castle. I know it's a tree! Anyways. Uh, we're gonna budget that crap out of the... Hey, what the hell what? is that? Oh my god, I'm oh. only ten decades oh. away from retirement, please! Shiny as fuck! Guys, don't god. shoot! This man is not black! Oh my god, shut the it's... fuck up, Smitty! God. Shut up, Smitty! No one cares! It's shut that up. asshole! Garber! I've come to retrieve my tree and the mod showcase throne. And punch that parrot. It's over, Vanilla. Your blood-sucking boyfriends, and me punching the parrot. Idiot, you killed the parrot on the way here. Still punch the parrot. It's all gone. It's over. <laughs> Even if that you already good. won and took back Terrible, the tree. It's true. <laughs> now, you'll never be on you top. be so kind. Or on I... the level you were at once before in much showcasing at videos. <laughs> I will forever be the best part. Eat <laughs> shit! <laughs>
forgot the food doesn't work. Oh, what is this? Oh, garlic. Ah! Ah! Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things you can't do anymore once you're a vampire. You can't eat regular meat. You can't eat food overall. Uh, you can't be near garlic. Garlic's bad for you. You get, um, garlic, I guess, poisoning, which I still probably have. Actually, I don't really know what happens if you go near garlic. I, know, I mean, I know it's like, gar vampires hate garlic, but I never knew the effects behind it. Oh, it just gives you weakness. <laughs> You're weak to garlic. That's stupid. But anyways, once you have a garlic infection going in your body, you just, you have garlic infection. Now, now that you're a vampire, you can see that your, um, your food bar is replaced with your blood bar. What you're gonna need to do is once, now that you're a vampire, what do vampires, uh, eat? Well, they need blood, so you can just get some, get some blood into me, get that blood flowing. And now you can see I'm regenerating, and now I'm all healthy, good vampire. But of course, you're probably wondering, Carbon! Where do you get blood if it's not just in a container like such? Well, fear not, young concerned viewer or concerned vampire friend. You go find animals, or you find a, any NPC. You can even uh, find, uh, you can actually, um, I think in the custom, in the con in the configs, you can actually put in uh, entities that, uh, that you can turn into vampires or suck the blood out of. Which I'm pretty sure you can suck the blood out of any mob, depending on whatever mod it is. And you can see the little icon with the fangs on it, and you can suck them. That allows you to suck the blood! Out of this individual. And now he's got a little vampire. I think this is a weakness effect. And you can see that the um, the fangs have uh, turned white a little bit. That means that he's almost ha he's always halfway almost drained of his blood. And if I do it again, he's completely sucked. Oh, I got some. Oh, I got raw mutton from him. That's nice. And so now, let's see. Let me let me let me, let me, let me bring out a villager. I'm like stumbling all over my words today. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, let me get a villager. There we go. So now villagers here. He's like, oh, how are you doing? Um, oh, I got like, oh, I'm gonna eat you. He's like, oh, that's great. So now I'm gonna, you know, suck the blood out of you. Now you get all weak and, you know, you can't do anything. You still look the same. Just suck the blood out even more. Oh, he still got more blood. Oh no. Oh, and now you can turn to a vampire. Look at that. So now he is a vampire. Wait, well, actually, what? Let me. What is he? What is the actual, you know, thing for you? Oh, he's just a vampire. He's vamp vampiric villager now. So now, um. Any human that comes in range, which I'm sure if I spawn in a villager here, you can see that he'll go ballistic. Or at least he'll go, go, go to him. There we go. Go ballistic on him. Get him, vampire villager. Suck the blood out of him. There we go. Now he's sucking the blood. You can see the little blood coming from his nose a little bit because, you know, he's got a big nose. Come on, do it again. He's almost... Suck his blood. Do it. Please me. Okay, I'll do it. And now I have two vampire villagers, and now I'm gonna keep going. And you can pretty much have like a whole vampire, you know, swarm. But now these guys are gonna feast on his body. Come on. I wonder if they could turn him into a vampire. Go. Go. Turn him into a vampire. Why are you looking at me? Go. Turn him into a vampire. I'm not doing. I'm not doing it. One of you gotta do it. Anyways, so while they feast on the the brethren over there. Now, as a vampire, you know, that's good and all, you get to suck blood, you know, your strength, your your health is increased, but eventually over time, you're going to want to level up, which you can see the little purple one uh, by my experience bar. Now, in order to level up, you're going to need to make something called an Altar of in uh, Inspiration, and then there's eventually going to be something called the Altar of Inspiration. Now, these two altars are very important when you want to level up, so this one, you fill up, um, you fill it up with blood, so... If I were to get blood bottles, which in order to get blood bottles, all you do is you kill a vampire and you get the blood bottle, which is empty, or probably a blood bottle that's filled. And what you can do with these blood bottles is you go up to it, go up to the altar of inspiration, which is the first thing you need to make. You right click it and you start filling it with blood all the way up until it's filled up all the way. And then once you do that, you right click it and you will level up. So, and now I'm going to demonstrate that real quick. Are you guys all trying to turn them into it? Nope, he's still living. Okay, shut up. I'll kill all you right now. Nope, I can beat the shit out of you. Oh! You wanna take- You wanna take dominance? Alright, go. Where's my crusader? I'm gonna beat the fuck up. Oh, damn it. I knew that would happen. God. Yes. Show me your loyalty. Now you become that armor. So once you go to the altar of inf uh, inspiration here, sorry about that. Now you right click that, you can see. Oh, you will be casted down with uh, vampiric energy. I think it's actually, um, it takes away halfway at first, but eventually over time, once you use the altar of inspiration more, it will, it will actually start to take more and more blood. And eventually you can't use this once you hit level four. 
So once you, uh, if you want to level up to level 5 or anywhere up forward, you have to use the Altar of Infusion. Now this one's actually quite confusing and actually how to use. This actually requires uh, blood bottles, which actually, let me go get one real quick. I think I may have done something bad here. What the? Why am I stuck? What is that? What the? Ah! Uh, red. 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 Really red. Really red. But as you guys saw there, that was the Altar of Infusion's abilities. Now, eventually, over time, when you do level up, you're going to have to make these pillars, which these pillars over here, which I made very oddly. These are not actually how it, the altar is supposed to look. But eventually, over time, when you make the altar, you're going to have four pillars at the start, and they're going to all look like this. So eventually, you know, the more you keep leveling up, you got to change the pillars every time. So uh, eventually, you're going to have to change it to a tier of stone, or stone tier, which you only require one stone for each... Um, for each pillar to put be put on and eventually you're gonna need two iron to upgrade it and three b gold blocks in order to upgrade it later on and once that's done you get yourself uh well if you get all you know if you get all gold pillars over here eventually gonna add two more gold pillars to get the max level which is, I, I think that i think you can actually just make um all six pillars and have it all gold if you have the materials once you're like level five and such so that way you don't have to keep getting materials and such but this is the Altar Infusion. It actually is very much uh, complicated, much more complicated than what I expected to be. So eventually, you're going to need to get Vampire Books, Pure Blood Purities, like pretty much a lot of things that this mod requires you to get. Or any, uh, any of the items that the mod has in it. So, Pure Blood Purity, Vampire with like writing that makes no goddamn sense. Which the creators themselves are probably vampires, to my suspicion. Pure Blood Purity 1. So this is Purity 1 put this into the thing and now what am i good oh i need five human hearts all right well i have i have 59 so yeah so you gotta right click with the item just put five there and then let me guess vampire book yep vampire book so it, it could be i think it could be any vampire book there's actually two different types of uh, vampire books there's the one with old writing and then ancient writing so uh whatever which one i'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter since it just asks for one vampire book but then once you do that you right click that there's a slowness effect you see the Vampire gods being called upon Thrusting your vampire girth into the skies till anyone can hear and now you can see the beam of vampiric energy flowing Within your body to the point you can feel You're about to burst ah! Okay And so now you're a vampire or you're not even you're, you're an even much more stronger vampire than before and so now Oh, I got like I got like 15 hearts. I'm rocking it let me actually see if I can go outside. What's out here? Oh, I got the saturations turned all the way up. It's like co very colorful. More colorful than usual. Alright, so there we go. So now, you're a vampire. I think you're much more stronger. You can oh, the hunger is almost even uh, doubled as well. So, you don't have to eat for a while. Oh, nope, Crusader! Now, you're probably wondering, Carbon, what does this all have to do? I mean, leveling is great and all, but what does it do for me? Well, Eventually, over time, what you can do is you will have a skill tree. Now, depending on how your controls are set up, you can open this up. And you can see there's a huge skill tree with a bunch of abilities that you can actually get uh, eventually over time. Now, you won't be able to get all these skills, but you can uh, choose a choose a path that you want to choose. So, whether you want to get the ability to free stuff, or become invisible, or teleport, that's all up to you. Now, personally, me, I'm kind of liking the fact that I can, uh, I can freeze people. Because, you know, that sounds cool. So... What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start leveling up. You just, eh, eh, bat mode. All right, so there you go. So now that I got all that going, um, if you give, if I um, there's actually a toggle vision button which you can either turn on night vision or turn it off. So that's actually nice. You know, vampires can see in the dark and such. What is it bound to? Oh, there's no action. Oh, there's no bound. Oh, okay, okay. I see you. All right, so now, if I were to hold F here, which is the uh, key I set it to, you can see here that I have all my abilities that I can toggle. So uh, if I wanted to, let's say I'm badly damaged, I can, you know, enable my regeneration abilities, allowing me to heal and such. Of course, over time, it's going to have this thirst 3 effect, which means my hunger is going to go down a little bit using my, my blood, my blood bar. But also, there's another ability, which is called bat mode. So you can turn to a bat. Look at that. And you can fly around. Uh, you only have two hearts, though, so if anything hits you, you're, you're pretty much dead. But the cool thing about this is you can use the Crusagrum, and no one will know about it because you're a bat fly around oh no oh sunlight sunlight turns you back into it's a normal 
puny human. Oh no. Oh no, this is bad. Freeze. <laughs> Get me back inside. I'm gonna f die. Now the cool one, the cool thing about this is you can use a projectile, shoot your blood at people. It's always great. Uh, disguise. Disguise. What disguise does? It makes you actually just look human, which I actually do like. And a, oh, vampire rage is really cool, which it just makes you look ballistic and you're in the zone and you want to go just, you know, start. You know, everything's enhanced. Your strength, your speed, everything. And then you just go in and just suck the life out of whoever comes in your way, and then you're good. You get a sheep. Sheeps are always good for uh, experimentation. Alright, sheep. I'm gonna freeze you now, okay? So that's what freeze does, and it just freezes them in place, so then now... I don't know, let me see how long this lasts. This lasts one, two... Oh, that doesn't last. That lasts maybe like five seconds where they can freeze. Vampire rage. Just suck the life out of you. Oh, I wish they had vampire shit. That'd be cool. It'd be funny. But anyways, so now that I've uh, you know, hungered or th quenched my thirst, as I must say, you can see now that uh, this is the max abilities of a vampire. Now I actually want to show you guys all the skills before I move on to the vampire hunter, which this mod showcase may be long. So I press G here. I can reset all my skills. Yep, reset. And so now I have all my skill points back, and I just can simply, you know, just take a different path. So now, if I were to, let's see, where's my, where's my invisibility? Oh, that's nice. It's not, it's not even like a, a potion effect invisibility. It's like a straight up trans, transparent ability. I like that. All right, sunscreen. What does that do? Oh, it just gives me sunscreen four. That just protects me from the sun. Um, I think I have disguise overall, but, uh, what else? Where's, uh, where's my blood vision? Oh, wait, I think I know where that is. It's this one, right? Oh my god, that's cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so pretty much everything turns purple. Uh, and you can see entities through the wall and the That's fucking cool. I actually haven't uh, experimented with this at all. So this is a first for me. Oh my god. Wait, I can't. Can I see this? Can I see if I use Optifine? I can. Oh, that's great. I think it uses blood though. Let me turn that off. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, anyone that's going to be a vampire is going to have a hell of a lot of fun with this, but... Let's see what else. Uh, is there any more? Oh yeah, there's Vista, which increases the fog if you're increases the fog distance in the Vampire Force. So pretty much you can make the fog thicker if you're in the Vampire Force, which we haven't actually seen some yet. For now, this is the end of the Vampire life. So now, if you are tired of becoming a vampire, you know you suck, you suck overall, and you're done sucking. All you can go to here to do is go to the altar, the altar of cleansing. And this will cleanse your soul. It all it requires is one vampire book and some wood planks. And if you want, you all you need to do is read the Bible, right-click it, lose all your levels, and die. That's just Minecraft in a nutshell. Goodbye. Which is now we move on to the, my favorite one out of all out of everything, which is the Vampire Hunter. Also commands in case anyone asks again. But. Uh, the cool thing about being a vampire hunter is you get to slay vampires, which is cool. And you don't you don't really have to, you know, uh, rely on blood to quench your thirst and such. Uh, it's kind of awkward having blood just in containers in this place. <laughs> but anyways, so, uh, what you will need to actually do to start off your journey to become a vampire hunter is you're going to need to find a vampire trainer. Now, oh, I actually, let me go all the way back. Oh, uh, here we go. So. There are actually uh, three different types of vampire hunters. There's the vampire hunter trainer, the advanced vampire hunter, or the advanced hunter, and the vampire hunter, which, there you go. Which I, hopefully I didn't repeat any of those, but yeah. So, these guys will actually spawn throughout your world in tents, or not in tents, but around tents, and even in villages, where they'll look like this. You know, they'll look like cowboys. Well, some will look like cowboys, some will look like uh, Richter, and then you got some that'll just look like uh, churchmen. Yeah. It's great. Vampire Hunter Trainer will actually have a, a, a name tag over it, which implies that they're they are the trainer. They are the ones you go to when you want to master anything. But eventually, uh, you can actually can go talk to the... Um, or actually level up by the advanced Vampire Hunters or the Vampire Hunters overall. But the Vampire Hunter Trainer, what he does is he can't train you at your level yet when you have... Uh, well, when you're not really uh, qualified to become a Vampire Hunter yet. So what you're going to need to do to get qualified is you're going to need to make Garlic Injection. And how to make this... You're going to need one garlic, which you get from the vampire trainer's house, which they have their own house. 
which behind it they'll actually have garlic planted or in any village they'll have some type of way to plant garlic you know garlic's not that really hard to come by so you know just plant garlic but anyways so you get a garlic inject uh, injection so you can't exactly uh inject this into yourself yet like the sangarian injection which i don't know why but you can actually need this chair yeah you're gonna need a chair to actually inject this into you and it's actually called the injection chair and what it does is it simply well for to craft it you're gonna need one wool uh, uh the letter h of iron and then glass bottle yeah and then once you get that you have yourself the the injection chair, which I'm surprised you actually don't need this with a Sangarian uh, uh, injection, but I guess this is based off something for uh, having an injection chair and garlic injecting into your body. But this is the power of garlic technology. Where have I heard that before? Anyways, so once you do, what you do is uh, you right-click this, and then all of a sudden everything comes white. You poison for a little bit, but fear not. It's just the power of garlic going through your veins and killing everything that's impure in your body, and then eventually the poison will stop. There we go. Oh, stop that, like, three and a half. Three and a half okay, good. So, where are... Okay, where did he go? And so now, you can actually go to the Vampire Hunter Trainer, right-click him, and he still can't do anything for you, because, you know, you're still a level one Vampire Hunter. So, how to level up is actually much easier than the Vampire itself. So, what you're gonna need to do at this state is actually go and get yourself some Vampire blood. Which obviously, that's not really that hard to come by. All you gotta do is just kill a few Vampires. I mean, if you're going to become a vampire hunter, you got to start somewhere. So the best thing to do this is to get a crap ton of vampire blood. And what you're going to need to do is go back into where the vampire hunters are. And you don't go back to the vampire hunter trainer. You go to a vampire hunter overall. So you go to this guy and he'll say, all right, I'll level you up. Pay me one of your vampire blood so I can, you know, suck the life out of it. You pay one and it's like, all right, I'll train you. And then you level up. Pay me five because, you know, he's a cheap ass. Take and give him that. Alright, pay me three more because you know he's a even bigger cheap ass than last time. And oh. Very good. There you go. Now I'll train you. And so now you're level four, and like the same with the vampires, you can't uh can't really level up by this guy anymore. So, see he says I can't train you anymore. Or train you any further. Because you suck! Now that you are level four, and of course you do have your own skills, which we're, we're gonna go over real quick. Then you go to the Vampire Hunter Trainer, and this one is a little bit pricey, but not as pricey as I, th or at least for me. I think the altars are, m like, building the altars itself are, like, the priciest things here. But you're going to need three things for the Vampire Hunter Trainer. You're going to need uh, Hunter Intel, Gold block or gold Ingots, and Iron Ingots. So, I'm going to show you how to actually make the Intel, because the Intel, eh, it's, uh, it actually may be even more pricier than the altar now. Or at least, maybe somewhat equivalent, but... In order to make uh, intel, you're going to need to get a hunter research table. And this requires uh, vampire fangs, a book, uh, some blood, and eventually... Uh, what the hell is that? So in order to exceed past level 4, you're going to need a vampire a vampire book, vampire fangs, and just one book. And then you're good to go. And eventually over time, you're going to need to actually put in blood in order to actually level up further. But once you get this book, all you got to do now is just simply... First, you gotta get iron ingots. So once you get gold ingots and also iron ingots, and especially your hunter intel, what you can do is go up to the vampire train. You simply go up to the vampire hunter trainer, you right click him, and then you give him all your monies as a, as a little fee, and then the intel, so he can read it to you, because apparently you can't read it yourself, and then you level up, and then boom! You get this little saturation effect like last time with the, uh, with, like, the vampires, and now you can see that you are now level 5, you get saturation 3, because beautiful color everything's colorful now this actually looks really nice very bright very vibrant good stuff but yeah now you're level five and of course your skills you can open your skill tree here and start upgrading so obviously becoming a hunter was the first thing and eventually now you can disguise yourself learn how to use a stake or craft stakes increase the attack speed uh, then of course is the how to make a hunter table you're gonna need to learn how to do that. Let me actually just get all my skills, cause you know, I, I, I am uh, I am quite the hunter myself in my prime of everything. All right. So, anyways, so for at least for the vampire hunter in his case, you can actually fill up, uh, or at least these two slots completely. But um, first ability we're gonna go over here is disguise, which allows you to hide from mobs and become far less visible to other players. So that's actually nice. You get a little camo, camo thing here. What does this look like? I have no idea how this disguises you, but that's good to know. Just, uh, yeah. 
The next skill you got here, which of course is uh, making the having the ability to make a hunter weapons table, which actually once you do that, or actually how to make a hunter weapons table, is you simply what the hell was that? Oh, oh! Goddamn tree! You don't come up here and bring out a gun in my goddamn house. Sacrum, give me that gun. So to make the hunter weapons table, all you're gonna need is three iron ingots, one iron block, and one bucket. And now you'll have the ability to craft. Oh, that's not it. Oops. And now you have the ability to craft hunter weapons. Now, this is actually the coolest part about this because you have you get the ability to craft a crossbow later on down the road, and especially different tiers of it. So of course, there's the crossbow level one, which is just a wooden crossbow by itself, and then there's the crossbow level two, which is better crossbow. Oh wait, this is the double. Oh, that's the same one. The, this is the double crossbow, which allows you to shoot two arrows. And eventually, there's eventually an upgrade that allows you to get an enhanced crossbow, which is just made of iron. And eventually, enhance the enhanced version, which gives you the double crossbow, which shoots two, two, two arrows out of an iron bow. And of course, eventually, there's the semi-iron and diamond bow, which is called the semi-auto crossbow, which allows you to load 12 arrows into it. And eventually, over time, you can get the... Is there four of these? Oh, there's an enhanced one. And the enhanced one, of course, which apparently just... Yeah, I think it shoots too. Oh, nope. It just... These are the same. Oh, this one's enhanced, though. The hell's the difference? Now, they're actually, the crossbows don't actually use arrows by themselves, so you actually have to make crossbow arrows, which are actually a bit more similar to just making arrows overall. So, of course, there are, there are four different types of arrows, or crossbow arrows. So there's, there's the crossbow arrow, which just requires one iron ingot and a stick. Uh, Spitfire arrows, which actually use alchemic fire, which I'll show what that is in a bit. There's vampire killer arrows, which instantly kill uh, low low level NPCs or low level vampire NPCs, which requires garlic, gold stick, and feather. And then the final one, which is an arrow clip, which has a crap ton of uh, crossbow arrows and one iron ingot and one wood plank. And then that's how you make them. Now let's go over some of the weapons you could actually use as a vampire hunter. So of course you got the traditional stake through the heart. For a vampire, this will actually instant kill, or actually do, do a lot of damage, or should instant kill a vampire once it's stabbed into their heart. It's, eh, but I'm sure to a normal mob, it's just a normal stick you can just stab them with. Of course, it does like 312% attack speed, which, if you don't understand what that means, it means it's the fastest freaking thing you can stab someone, and it's also stronger than diamond. Oh, I thought it said 15 attack damage. Okay, it's not as strong as a diamond sword, but it can kill a low level vampire. In an instant. No, wait, that's the Heart Seeker. Give me that. I like that one. So this is the Heart Seeker, which can only be used by vampire players, but it actually looks really cool. And actually looks like a unknown weapon that I think is well worthy. And actually looks looks cool overall. But this is the Heart Seeker. You can just smack people with it. It takes a while for vampire hunters to actually lift it up and wield it. Maybe that's why, because it's you know for vampire hunters or vampires overall. And then of course you got special and enhanced versions of every weapon and pretty much every armor especially in this whole mod which is actually nice and this is the enhanced one I actually like the enhanced one has a little gem it's, it's good looks good looks great good job mod builders good job good job i'm all over the place today but you know that's good actually you know what? give me that real quick watch this now i know it's been pretty boring i usually like to put the fun stuff first in every mod showcase but this was actually one of the mods where i actually wanted to take the time and actually show you guys how to actually uh you know get to where you need to do to get to vampire hunter class or vampire class overall so the first mod we're going to actually go over here which is a ghost now these guys you gotta be really scared uh, wary of them because the moment you hit them they disappear so then now it's gonna be hard for you to find them and now you have no freaking clue where they are but the cool thing about this is they appear and then you can start you load your gun here and it actually takes a while to load up the arrows or the arrow clips but now slaying thy demon Wherever he is. There he is. He died. So now the ghost is dead. They spawned the vampire force. So you have nothing to worry about. But, of course, there is the vampire baron. Which this guy is hell of a lot stronger than any low-level vampire you've seen so far. Because this guy, what he does is he spawns little baby vampires that can come and kill you. And he's actually strong himself. Let me actually see if he does anything. Of course, there's holy water. Holy water is always fun. You know, brew this up by grabbing a crap ton of more holy water and gunpowder. Now look. There he is. Oh, there's the baby. A dead vampire is a good vampire. Alright. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! Back! 
I am not being taken by such uh, creatures of the night. Can you get up here? No, you can't get up here. Where's my crusade room? <laughs> oh, God, he's spawned an army. Oh, it's multiplying. That's gross. Oh, <laughs> crusade room time. Oh, God. The vampires. Strong. Yeah. Oh, he, tu he turned an invisible job. Oh, okay. He used magic to kill me. That's cheating. Oh, yeah, well, guess what? Little does he know. Arrow gun with his name on it. Crusagum. Yeah. And of course, the next one is the advanced vampire, which is called a Madzilla. Oh, what the hell? They have their own names. Okay, hold on. Hold on. It looks like he throws the arrows back at me, which actually looks pretty cool. What does he drop? Oh, it's just vampire blood. Let me see if I can get another one. The Jinxster. Oh my God. Okay. Well, if I ever become a vampire, that's gonna be my name. All right, Jinxster. Is that just like a pun off the fact that you're ginger? I race, I swear. But Crusagrum time. I'm actually powerful Bill. I disagree. What are you, powerful Bill again? Oh, good old powerful Bill. He's been uh, he's been fighting my generation for years. Who's next? Oh, the Jinxster. Oh, I know you. Goodbye. So before we actually wrap up this mod showcase, there are actually a few things here. Obviously, armor sets that you can have. There's obviously obsidian leggings in case you know protect your legs. From, uh, from getting bit vampire things that vampires drop. I'm just making sure I didn't actually miss anything. Holy water! Which does not have a crafting recipe, apparently. But holy water. Human hearts. In case you want to feast on it. Up to you. I don't judge. You're human and you eat feast on human hearts. It's cannibalism, but it'll do. And of course, you have yourself the chest plate of swiftness, which is only... These armors are only particular, or at least most of these armors are particular to... Uh, well, these are for vampires. I don't know why a vampire would want to try to bite someone's legs. That's a vampire. But yeah. And this is the hunter gear, which you can use to protect yourself from bites. And of course, other stuff to protect you from vampires, which this, this special armor will even poison the vampires sometimes too. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this mod showcase. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment down below what you think. Make sure to comment down any other mods you would like me to showcase in the near future. Uh, which I haven't really been keeping that promise, but I'm trying to keep up and catch up actually play a lot of catch up But this mod was actually fun. I actually want it's actually one of my favorite mods So make sure to download the description down below and especially the crusade But with that being said, thank you guys for watching like and subscribe to always. I'll see you guys in the next